Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in this uh, video I will show you how you can make this uh, booklets mini albums and uh, this one is made with a Cityscape uh, paper collection from Graphic 45 and here I used uh, the 8x8 and 12x12 and also the 6x6 uh, by six solid and uh, patterns and I used uh, uh, shipboard uh, cutouts and uh, pockets and uh, tags but uh, this you also can make just with the 8x8 or 12x12 paper if you like to. And this one is made with a um, children's hour collection, also from Graphic 45. And here I used up uh, uh, much of my leftovers to make uh, this little booklet here. So this I filmed from start to finish. I'll show you the template and also how to decorate it. And uh, this I just uh, filmed uh, the base for it, so in the end of the video I will show you how you can uh, make um, the base for this album. And uh, I will also post a lot of close-up uh, pictures on my blog, so if you want to make it the same you can find the pictures there. And uh, this uh, booklet uh, measure uh, 4 by 6 and you can make them uh, either way you like or decorate them either way you like to. And I also made a separate video of this, so this video won't be too long if you like to have a look uh, at this before uh, uh, you start uh, the tutorial. So I will link to that below. Just click show more and uh, you will find all the links. So then I will start uh, the tutorial. For uh, this uh, booklet album you need a paper that's uh, 12 uh, by 12. And um, I will use this black uh, cardstock, Raven, from uh, Basil. Sorry for the glare. Give you a close-up here. But you can use anything strong you like to. So just to make sure it's a good quality on the paper. So I'm showing this on some uh, white uh, cardstock because it shows uh, better up. And uh, all these templates you can find on my blog. So I will link below. So uh, then we are going to flip this around and score at 6 inch. And if you don't have this scoreboard you can also use a ruler and take some marks and use uh, maybe a crochet needle to uh, make your score marks. So here we are going to score at 6 inch. And then we flip it around. And we are scoring at 3 and 7 8 all the way down to the 6 inch uh, score mark here and the same uh, all the way here so then 4 and 1 8 uh, 7 and uh, 7 8 8 and 1 8 and then we are flipping it around and here we are going to score at um, 4 inch so now we see it upside down here, but yeah. And 4 and 1, 8. And then 7 and 7, 8. And 8 inch. So you can just leave it uh, this way also and just uh, find the score mark and the score here. So here you see the measurements. But it's more easy to flip it around. And then you also can score it at, or put a mark with a pencil at 1, 8 here and 11 and um, 7, uh, 8 here, so so this we are going to cut off, so then we can move this out of the way, and then I will cut in the middle of the score line here. the way into this last score mark here and the same for the other side. So in the middle of the score mark and then we are going to cut out this X here. So now it's the finished cut out and then we can start folding it. So then we fold this in, and then here you can see you have these on the outside, the lar largest uh, spines here. 
and then we are going to fold this in and also fold the eighth of an inch like so and also for the other side here so and then we are folding the outside so so that you can see that it, it builds up a quarter of an inch and the same on this side here so now you can uh, decorate it and uh, make a belly band for it if you like to or you can use some um, some um, magnets here so these are eight millimeter uh, magnets and I can take two of them here I want to use uh, that in my little booklet because um, um, it builds so much up inside so show you just here so if you don't build it up too much you can use some uh, score tape on uh, the top here I have two magnets or you can use regular tape if you prefer that so, so now be sure to line it up you can take it here and one on the top lining it up all the way to the end, almost, maybe one eighth of an inch on the outside here, and press down. So then you can take uh, the magnets, oops, <laughs> wooden fasten, on uh, both uh, sides here. So, yeah. So then you can uh, decorate it with uh, some uh, pattern paper here. So I will do that on uh, ca off <laughs> camera, so you don't have to watch uh, all the gluing. But I will show you some details, some decorations, and uh, so and also make a belly band for it. So uh, I'm using some hardware here, and this is a keyhole from Graphic 45. So and this I want to distress a bit with a black paint dabber. So I just go a bit random over. So so then we put this to side to dry. And um, I can also show you, I will cut into some of um, these pieces here. So this is uh, from the 12 by 12 and I will ink it up with um, ground espresso a bit and also uh, vintage uh, photo distress ink. So maybe zoom out a bit here again. haven't uh, seen this before. I'm sure most of you have uh, uh, done this before. But I just uh, go some random around here. So. And also this here. So now I switched them on <laughs> over here. So this is uh, the vintage photo and this is uh, the ground expresso. So usually I take the vintage uh, photo first here, but it really doesn't matter. So. so then I will cut into the stripes here. So here I just have a cutting mat and I have already glued down some tape on the back side here just to uh, prevent the tearing and also make this a bit stronger so I will just uh, follow these lines here and then I will also take some stopper tape on the back here so I'm not sure you can see where it stops here so then I will just take a tape over just so um, prevent it tearing in use and I also like to go over with my uh, marker. So here I'm using a SIG uh, marker. So. so then we can uh, make a pocket out of this. And when I glue this down, I only take the glue around here and all over here. So here you can use a score tape or uh, anything you like to.
So then I will glue down all the, the um, decor paper and I will be back. I can maybe show you on the front here because it's uh, it's very bulky here so that I like to use uh, score tape. So when I take a score tape on I go all the way to the end and I have a one eighth of an inch. And if you go all the way here and rip it off you can rip the paper. So I like to stop a one eighth same width as uh, the score tape from and then start at the beginning. So then you don't rip uh, the paper. So then I will just uh, take some regular scotch quick dry glue in the middle. I also decided that I wanted to paint the dabber around uh, the edges just to grunge it up a bit more, a bit more old looking. But uh, if you prefer you don't have to ink it up or use a paint dabber, you can use the paper as it is. But when I don't um, ink up uh, the paper, I like to uh, go around uh, the edges here with uh, my marker just to cover up uh, the white uh, uh, edges. So then we can leave this aside to dry a bit and the work on the front here. So here I glue down this paper from the 12x12 12 12, and I also glue down uh, these uh, corner filigree here and these are from uh, Butterbee scraps. So I will link to her shop below. She has a lot of beautiful uh, brass embellishments. So yeah, so I just glued it down so it will sit. It takes a bit of uh, time to glue it down. And I also have this border and I think that was from the 8x8, now I'm not sure. Yeah, and I want this on uh, the bottom here. So I will just uh, glue it. Uh, it creates a stopper when we take a belly band on and if we want some uh, tags behind. So we will be make the uh, belly band uh, at the last when uh, we see how much it builds up. So just slide it a bit under the filigree here. So, so then we will just leave this for now and work on the inside. So a number here, it's uh, just for myself so I know where to <laughs> put all the pieces I've taken out of the album here. So this is also from the 12x12 12 12, and here I have a frame from uh, the 12x12. 12 12, some stamps I cut out from the same paper as uh, the front here I think. So we can glue this on the side here first. So this paper I haven't glued down, just uh, it's more easy to work on uh, uh, before you glue it uh, down into the album. So I'll just angle this a bit. Glue this on the side here. Just for some decor. So and I also want uh, this behind here. This is also from the 12x12. 12 12. So all is uh, inked up with the same ink that I showed in the beginning. So just place this on top here. So, almost a bit on the outside here. So then we just can ink this up to cover up the white edge. So then we can glue this uh, down to the paper, decor paper here. So I think I need to glue it on the sides also. And I will leave it open in the top so I can slide a photo inside here. And be sure to go a bit from the score line here. So all the papers here, uh, the backing papers, are cut down uh, one eighth of an inch smaller than the actual size of uh, 
um, the paper behind or uh, the pages. So, and if you wonder about this glue, it's the same glue as uh, this Scotch uh, Quick Dry Glue. So I just put it in a bottle and this is going out of uh, business, but I can show you. You can get this uh, uh, fine tip uh, tops uh, on most uh, online stores, I think. So this I have on a glossy accent. Yeah, so then we can put in some tags inside here. So, and you can see I haven't glued it well enough down, so we just lift it up. So I'll wait with uh, putting the tags in before, uh, until I know it's uh, completely dried. So here we have a similar um, uh, page as uh, this one, so I just cut it into three times here. So then we can just stack in some tags here. So we have this inside here. small ones so and uh, yeah let's see if this is dried enough got a few more tags here so maybe like this here instead so here is also a place for a journaling spot I think I keep it on the top so maybe I'll change uh, them a bit uh, later. This is going to go here, on this flap here. And uh, here I've taken some score tape on the end of it, just because um, it's more easy to glue down when we have uh, tape here. So then I will just take a tiny bit of glue on the bottom. And we can glue it all the way down and also on the side. I also like to have a wet cloth nearby so I can take off an extra glue. And then we can put some tags inside here. Maybe best to wait a bit before uh, the glue is uh, completely dried. You can take uh, just this at the beginning, so we'll see. So then we have the middle part here, and that I uh, haven't uh, glued down because we're going to embellish it a lot. So um, here is from, I think it's from the 6x6 uh, paper pad. And uh, this pocket on the side, and I also want this here, and I also am going to have a chain here. And use um, this keyhole here, we paint it. So both uh, these two are from uh, the pockets and uh, tags cut out. So here I'm using some um, stick it. I'm not sure the brand here I cut it off. Yeah, it's from stick it pop dots. So I'll we'll have that on the back. Here I also have some um, backed it on black cardstock just to uh, outline it a bit, make it a bit sturdy. to the top so and then we can glue this down here this I think I just will glue down on uh, two sides here so just be sure not to go over uh, on the outside here so and I want uh, this to go on top, and here I will use some uh, glossy accent. So here you can see the other fine tip uh, bottle, so it's a needle inside. So we'll just glue that on. It's just for some fun decor. But if you're using this, uh, it builds up a bit on the album also. So you don't uh, put too much of <laughs> this inside. So here I have a tag from the 12x12. 12 12. 
And I also have a chain here, so I'm not sure how I'm going to fasten this uh, here. So I'm thinking of having it around here maybe. So on to the top of a tag. Yeah, so then I will just cut this off here. Use the bread. if you like to, so maybe I find something later. So, this inside, and then this goes over here. So I'm not sure it will stick in place, so I think I will have some magnets on the back side as well. So I just put it down, I think. some score tape. So then we can do this inside. in here as well. So then that pitch is uh, finished. So then we can start on the back side here and here again I've uh, cut out this uh, stem from the 8x8 and this is from the 12x12. 12 12. All the large frame here are from the 12x12. 12 12. So I just uh, placed this here, I have a magnet behind here, so and then I placed the magnet over here to fit. So then we can glue this down. And under the magnet here I had some glue so uh, I don't have to have some any score tape over. can be used to hold some notes or anything. Yeah. So then we can start on uh, the middle here. But maybe first we can put in some tags here as well. So just lift it up a bit. Just for some fun decor. So in the middle here I want a belly band and uh, this is from the I'm not sure I think it was from the six by now eight by eight and this is from the pockets and tags and this is not long enough for the page so we need to cut it in the middle And uh, this I, uh, from the pockets and tags, I uh, backed with uh, some black uh, cardstock. So I'll we'll just pull it in again and see how it fits. So and then we can glue these uh, pieces down. Just lift it up a bit. So then we can glue this uh, down to the side here. In the middle, about. And I also have 
this from the 12 by no from uh, the um, pockets and tight uh, cuts out and I also outlined that just because I like uh, the black uh, edge so I also have some tags here I can put inside or photo mats so here I just have a doubled one so when you fold uh, this over it can be good to take a bit wet cloth over before you fold it so then it doesn't tear in the end small pieces here I'm not sure if I will use some stamps also here I have some stamps on top here Down. We could have put this on pop dots, but <laughs> it builds up uh, so much as it is, so I will just uh, glue it uh, straight on. So, so now this uh, page is uh, finished, so then we can take uh, the inside here. And here I already glued uh, down the paper and I want a pocket on the side here. So here are from the 8 by 8 I think. So I'll glue that on here. And this was too large so I just cut off this strip of red here and uh, glued it on, on the top here again. So maybe you can see it. Because I wanted this uh, red on the top as well. So then I will glue it in three here and I will also put something under here so I know it's uh, room for it and yeah I should have uh, taken this uh, border strip first so we'll do that really fast it's from the 12 by 12 uh, paper so just glue that on here And we can glue this on. So I just put in some here to build up a bit. So I know it will be room for it. So and then I want this on the side. So this I will just glue bit here on uh, the end. Here. So here is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the pocket end tags. So we can maybe slide that inside here. from the pockets and tags you can put inside here and you can put this little tag inside here and this I see I forgot to ink up so we can do that really fast so as you see I'm not uh, careful with the inking I just to do it uh, random to give it a more uh, distress uh, a look So then it's uh, the inside here, and here I have a paper from uh, the 6x6 six, uh, six, uh, paper pad, and I also have this clip here as a key, and I'm sorry, I don't know where I got it from, I had it in my stash. So, um, yeah. 
so I just clipped it on the back and here I took a uh, score tape just to be sure it's uh, secured here and I will also take a score tape over here so just to be sure it sticks well This from the pockets and uh, tags, and I think I will have this uh, over here from also the pockets and tags. Just glue down the sides. So, and I think I will have this in an angle also, this way maybe. So then I will glue it on two sides here. score lines here. So, and then we can stuck in maybe a stamp under here. And uh, this is from the 8 by 8. And also this from the 8 by 8. And a little stamp I have left over. And uh, this is from the 12 by 12 just for some decor on the bottom here. So, and uh, on the inside I want uh, to have uh, for journaling. So, something fall out here. <laughs> so here I used, um, um, from the 12 by 12 paper you get um, here, this uh, cream colored, uh, it's the last uh, page, so I used uh, that. So we we'll have, we'll have this in the middle here. So just put this aside a bit. So on this side, I first cut out the Eiffel Tower and also backed it with a black uh, cardstock. And these I glued together with a multi mat, and that you can find from Ranger. It's just to make it a bit more sturdy and also outline it a bit. So we'll take some color on the bottom and top. So and I think I will stack this inside here so I'm sure it's enough room for it. side. So here I have two uh, border strips, so I will glue them together. Uh, both are from the uh, 12 by 12. And I will glue this on the side here. I will stick in the tags first. And here is um, this, I'm not sure you remember or have seen this, is uh, older uh, um, envelope tags from Graphic 45, so it's from this uh, pack here, but uh, Graphic 45 uh, uh, has some similar now, so they, uh, these are really fun, you can stack some goodies inside and yeah, really love them, so I'm so happy they have uh, made them again. So I will stick this here and then I will glue on three sides here, some positional glue here. So. just uh, glue these two on here so you don't have to watch that all so then I will be back. I also have this uh, red stamp that I want on the top here but I think I will just glue it on the top so it can slide uh, something under here. So, 
so now you can see how the inside is so this goes uh, this way and this goes the other way so now we can fold it up and um, decorate a bit uh, on the back side and also make a belly band uh, for it so you see it's uh, quite uh, bulky already so this uh, you see this way and this I will glue on this way here so it comes the right way when we fold it out so this I think I just will glue regular on and then I have these two stamps I'll show you that some repositional glue here. So this I cut out again and backed with a black uh, cardstock. So this on top here. So, and I think I will have some uh, pop dots on this one. So, then we can glue it on. So then we can uh, make a belly band uh, for the closure here if you don't want to use uh, magnets. So then we need to measure how wide this is. So this is uh, 6 inch. So then I will have the belly band at 6 and 1 8 of an inch, a bit on the outside. And then we need to measure how uh, thick it is. So we will build it up about a half inch here. So then we can take the scoreboard again. And uh, here I've cut out some strips at um, 1 inch wide and at uh, 12 inch long. And uh, then we are going to score at an half inch, at 1 inch, at 7 and 1 eighth of an inch and at 7 and 5 eighth of an inch. And then you need one more strip that's 1 inch wide so that we are going to glue on this end here just to make it long enough. And again, uh, these measurements you can find on my blog. So then we will start folding this in and we will glue this on this end here. So, take some glue here and line this up with the other one so we get it straight. So and we have a long enough strip, so fold this and this is going to go over, overlap each other. So then we can take, I've already made one here, so, and um, let's see how this uh, will fit over here now, so you see it overlaps here, and then I will uh, take some uh, pattern paper on, so I have this uh, from the 6x6, six and uh, place that over here and no, for, yeah, from the 6x6 six six and this is from the 12x12 12 12. and this is going to go on the back so we'll glue that on the back side so you don't have to watch all the gluing but first uh, we need to, to place some magnets here we can use some velcro also but I think it will hold with uh, some um, uh, magnets so then we can start with uh, taking a strip of paper on here. So glue that on really quick. And uh, here I have uh, from uh, the shipboard uh, cutouts and. Um, show you here. Got the magnets on behind here. So uh, this I backed with a uh, 12 by 12 paper and I placed uh, two magnets under here. And this I placed with a uh, 6 by 6 paper just uh, around uh, the frame here and then I backed it with a uh, black uh, paper on the back side. And uh, these uh, brads are from uh, Graphic 45. So these I also painted a bit with uh, black. So then we can put this inside, so now I need to see I have it the right side. So, and then we place two magnets on the back here. So, and take some score tape over. And we will um, take this one here. I think 
maybe I will have a clip here so I <laughs> sometimes we need more than two hands. So just to hold it in place. Place this over. This off again. on here. So I think take a bit more glue here on the sides. So and this was maybe too much so I just rolled it in again because uh, the album is a bit uh, bulky and then we need to give it some space to uh, stay open on the side. two more magnets over here. So now we we'll see if we will get this to hold or if we need to use a velcro. And you can also have it just sliding over but because I have this uh, full of grease here it's not so easy to slide the, the belly band off. for the magnets. So then I will off camera glue uh, this uh, paper on and I also have some to go in the inside from the 12 by 12 papers so I will also glue some inside here. So then I will be back. So now I've glued down all the decor paper. I'm not sure I told but this is from the 12 by 12 and this is from the pockets and tags. And when I glued on this piece here where the magnets are here I used a score tape because it's uh, more easy to uh, glue down and I didn't take any score tape over the magnet so they will stick well. And I can maybe show you on the back side here. And here you could have uh, decorated some more on the inside but I'm a bit afraid of uh, the magnets won't hold here so I will uh, just leave it like so. I can do some journal here. So then we will uh, take this on the album. So place it on here, so this over and clip it together. So, and also uh, if you are making this uh, thinner or thicker, just make sure that you have a uh, room here on the side when you build it up so you have uh, room for photos. So, and it's like so on the back side. So then we can put in some, have some leftover tags here. Put this inside here, maybe. So, and uh, this on the side here. And this, and these all are from the 8x8, I think. Maybe this was from the 12x12. 12 12. No, 8x8. So, let's stick it under here so we're sure it doesn't slide. And this on the side, maybe here. So. So, and I also have uh, some leftovers here that I will just uh, put in so we can open it again. So now you see these uh, sticks inside here. So I think I will have this inside here. So, just for using it up. And maybe this on the side here. Under here maybe. So, and one more left. Take it inside here. So, 
So then uh, this uh, little uh, mini album or booklet is uh, finished. So then I will show you uh, the base for uh, the other little album. So here is uh, the base for this little booklet here. So and again this is uh, from the 12 uh, or 12 by 12 paper and I'm showing it on some white uh, cardstock so it shows uh, better up. And I need to find the score tool like this. So again we are going to score at, um, or maybe start on the middle as the other one, it doesn't matter where you start. So we're going to score at 6 inch and then we are going to score at uh, 3 and 7 8 of an inch all the way down and at 7 and 7 8 of an inch and at 8 inch lines all the way over two middle score lines here to the end here and the same on the side. So then we are going to fold this over again. And we can fold this inside and fold this over and fold both of the score lines here and flip it around and fold this over and this over. So now you can use it uh, from each side you like to decorate it. So you can use it this way or you can use it this way here. And again here you can add uh, two magnets here and also on the other side if you don't uh, want to use uh, the valley band. And uh, I can maybe show you um, if you like to have it straight or all going pages going at the same sides. Show you. So here you can see all the girls uh, the same side and also on the back here. And then it can be uh, smart to take some uh, marks. I'll show you here. have some uh, stick it note holder or anything so then you fold it out and uh, you take some uh, marks here and the paper to go this way here and you do the same for the back side so when you fold it now you know uh, where uh, to put the paper so it goes uh, the right side. So then you flip it on this uh, side, you flip it over this side here. So, show you here. So, and also take on the back side here. So that's uh, just a little tip. And uh, for this uh, belly band here, I uh, used a strip of paper that is uh, 12 inch by 1 inch and scored at 2 and a half and 2 and 7 8 7 and seven and three eight and this yeah I cut it at L eleven and uh, one quarter so but here again you need to measure how much you build it up so this is just the measurements I used for my album so I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was helpful and that you maybe will give it a try these are really fun to make and uh, great to give as a little gift or take with you when you travel or yeah anything and also if you have any questions uh, please look in the description box below there you will find a link to my blog where I answer all new questions so take care everyone and have fun creating bye bye